and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The S store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video, let's check out some of the highlights for December 2021. In this first video, I will be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones, I will be covering paid assets and tools. Check out the full playlist to see all of the highlights every month, you might find something that would be perfect for whatever project you're currently working on. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also, right now Unity is having their end of year sale. For these free assets, naturally that doesn't matter, but if there's any paid assets you've been waiting for, then this is great. There's over 8000 assets currently discounted, including many that have never been discounted previously. So if you've been watching the asset highlight videos for these past few months, chances are some of the ones I mentioned in previous videos, they are currently discounted. Go ahead and check it out with the link in the description. Alright, so starting off with a really interesting one made officially by Unity. It's a bunch of animal characters, some great looking models, and these were primarily made to work with the Unity Live Capture. So that's a package that can do live face capture, which is then used to place one of these characters on top of your face, all live during runtime. That's a pretty interesting use case, but even if you're not using that package, these are still some pretty nice looking models. These would all be a great starting point to make a game kind of like Animal Crossing. And up next, here's a really nice and simple tool. It does exactly what you expect. It lets you create game objects and color them to make them really easy to find and easily organize your hierarchy. You can use any color you want and create whatever categories you need in order to help keep your hierarchy organized. Next up, here's a really interesting one. It's a bunch of hand poses, nicely animated. You use an animator avatar to add these hand animations on top of whatever animations you already have. There's a total of 9 poses, there's a fist, pistol, thumbs up, ok, phone and more. It's a really interesting asset to make your characters come alive. Then if you're making a game inspired by the worldwide supply crisis then this asset is perfect. It's a shipping container, features lots of sizes and multiple color variants including going from clean to dirty. So yep, this one would be perfect for a very specific type of game. Then over here is Placer. This one is a level design tool, so you have your scene with no extra objects, then you select a prefab or multiple prefabs from your project files, and you just start clicking in your scene. There's lots of level design tools, but some of them are way too complex. I like this one because of its simplicity and it seems like it works great. Then perhaps if you need some trees to populate your world, then here's a really nice low poly pack. Features 12 stylized trees, a bunch of plants and even a bunch of stones. Quite a nice amount of variety for a free pack. And up next, here's an interesting tool called VTS Sharp. I know VTubers are becoming more and more popular, although I'm not very familiar with it myself. This one is a simple script to easily interact with the VTube Studio API. So whatever the original API can do, you can do it while inside Unity. And again, Unity can make games or just a nice application. For example, a while ago when I was making some live streams, I did make some programs to control my live streams and the characters on screen, and that control panel was indeed made with Unity. So if I was a VTuber, then this would be great for also making a control panel for that avatar. Pretty interesting. Then if all you need is just a nice RPG character, here's a great one. It's a pretty nice style, would fit perfectly on pretty much any kind of JRPG. There's a nice amount of detail, it's a nice model, and it comes with 7 animations. Attack, idle, run, stun, and so on. Then if you need to make some curves, here's Curve Designer. There's already quite a lot of these assets, some free, some paid. This one looks pretty good and it's free. It's all based on splines, which if you want to learn how they work, I actually made a whole video on that topic. You just click and drag the points to make any shape. Then you use that shape and extrude some form of mesh from it. And finally, another interesting tool, here is Vertex. It's a tool for visually displaying your mesh data. So that can be your UVs or your normals or even some custom data. It's definitely a niche tool, but if you have issues with your normals or your UVs, then maybe this one can be really helpful. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for December 2021. There's links to all in the description. Stay tuned for the next videos covering paid assets and tools, there's lots of awesome stuff there. Check out the phone playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.